Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about World War II Axis items. I'm going to be showing all my World War II Axis items. So that's Germany, Japan, and Italy. So let's get straight into this. So I'm going to start off with World War II German stuff. I'm going to be talking about my World War II Luftschultz helmet. You can see this is the original decal on it, and it is in phenomenal condition. Well, I know there's a few smudges on it. Right there, there, and there, but other than that, this helmet's in a pretty good condition. You can see the paint on it. It's a little rusty, but this is the original paint, original decal, original chin strap, and original liner. You can see everything on it's in perfect condition. I really like this helmet. If you don't know what the Luftschultz is, that is the air raid people. So this is the World War II Germany air raid people. You can see the vent holes on the helmet. It's pretty cool. Keep it displayed right here so that decal is very visible. Chin straps in really good condition. It's a really good helmet. Up here I have a World War II German Luftwaffe breast eagle patch. The, the Luftwaffe is the Air Force, the German World War II Air Force, and this is a Luftwaffe patch. It was pretty cool. It's like my, I think this was my first World War II German thing. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty good price too. I really like it. Next to it, I have a World War II German party leader's hat device. This would go on a party leader uniform hat. It's metal. There was gold ones and silver ones colored ones so that's the silver one it's pretty cool i got it a couple months ago i really like it underneath it i have this world war ii german 1939 coin i'm not sure how much it is it's really cool though it's got a 10 on the back so i don't know if that's 10 marks or what but yeah, I really like it. It's really cool. 1939 German coin. Right here I had this World War II German army button. And next to it I got this World War II German grenade pool that was found in France. So this was, this was obviously used. It was pulled for a grenade, which is pretty insane. Then right here I had this World War II German picture of Germans using anti-tank guns. You can see a couple Germans in the picture. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I can see in this picture. Right here I have this World War II German 1943 filled post letter. The whole letter is inside. It unfolds into the whole letter. It's pretty cool. I really like this. Crazy that someone wrote that in 1943. Underneath it, I have World War I German Imperial money. Again, not sure how much it is. It has 50 on it, so I don't know how much that is, but it's World War I, 1914 through 1918 German Imperial money. Then I actually got this just the other day. This is a World War II German Luftwaffe Mess Hall Fork. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure what it's made out of, like aluminum or something. It's pretty light. It doesn't feel how you'd expect it to feel or weigh as much as you'd expect it to weigh. See the Luftwaffe Eagle. It's pretty cool. I've been wanting one. I don't know why it's a fork, but I don't know why I was wanting one, but I was and I found one, so it's pretty cool. You can see it's dated 1939 if the camera would focus. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Then I have this World War II German picture of six German officers. You can see there's some writing on the back in February 1943. It's a pretty cool picture. Six World War II German officers. Someone told me that this was taken somewhere in France, but I don't know. Okay, underneath it, I have this belt buckle. This is a World War One, pre-World War One. This is actually from 1871. Pre-World War I German Imperial Belt Buckle. You can see it has Gut mit Uts on it. That stands for God with us. See the back of the belt buckle. Front, you can see there's a big ding in it right there. 
it's covered in scratches so it's not the best condition belt buckle still really cool it's an 1871 german imperial belt buckle good men oomts god with us okay then above it i have this uh world war ii german flag i have it in this plastic bag to keep it protected and it's folded up it's a world war ii german flag i'll put a picture of it though up in the corner unfolded that's what it looks like yeah i keep it in this plastic bag keep it protected it's not in the best condition still a pretty cool flag though okay then i saved the best german item for last this is a world war ii german officer's dress dagger and it's my favorite thing in my collection my favorite thing in my military collection this and my dinosaur bone are tied for my favorite but you can see the german eagle on the front it's pretty cool it's made by Icorn. It's World War II era. You can see the blade of it. It's in pretty good condition. It's not bent. Well, except for the very tip. There's just a tiny little bend in it. But the blade's in really good condition. You can see the Icorn right there. It's a pretty cool dagger. One of the pieces that I would never sell. All right, that's it for the German stuff. Now I'm gonna move on to the Japanese. So right here I have this World War II Japanese Honor of the Rising Sun medal. It's got this pretty fancy little box. I really like it. On the inside here is the medal. This is the Honor of the Rising Sun. Like I said, this is really my coolest Japanese thing. I don't really ever buy Japanese stuff. I mainly just buy German and American. Yeah, it's a pretty cool metal. Right here I have like this double Japanese picture. I'm not sure what you would call these, but it's just like a double picture thing of Japanese soldiers. Pretty cool. And then here I have these two World War II era Japanese $10 bills. Have them in these protective sleeves to keep them safe. That's it for the Japanese stuff. Now I'm just going to show my one Italian thing. This is a World War II Italian helmet. You can see the liner is still in good condition. Nothing wrong with it. It's not dry rotted or nothing. The chin strap's still in good condition. The helmet's obviously been repainted. Still pretty cool though. This was my first helmet ever. First World War II helmet. It's really cool. That's all that's all of my World War II Axis items. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.